Hi, I'm William Huang, and this is the physiology section of behavioral science. Stress can have a number of effects on the body. It induces the production of free fatty acids, corticosteroids, which are immunosuppressive, as well as lipids, cholesterol, and catecholamines. Stress also affects water absorption, muscle tonicity, the gastric colic reflex, and mucosal circulation. Sexual dysfunction can take on many forms, including sexual desire disorders, sexual arousal disorders, orgasmic disorders, and sexual pain disorders. The differential diagnosis for sexual dysfunction is large. It includes drugs, diseases, and psychological causes. What types of drugs can cause sexual dysfunction? Drugs that may cause sexual dysfunction include antihypertensives like beta blockers, antihistamines, neuroleptics, antidepressants, alcohol, and narcotics. What kinds of diseases can cause sexual dysfunction? Common medical conditions that can cause sexual dysfunction include diabetes, heart disease, peripheral vascular disease, and hormone imbalances. Finally, performance anxiety and other conditions like depression and anxiety can be psychological causes of sexual dysfunction. Body mass index, or BMI, is simply a measure of weight that is adjusted for height. BMI is calculated as the patient's weight in kilograms divided by their height in meters squared. In adults, a person with a BMI over 25 is overweight, and a BMI over 40 is classified as morbidly obese. In children, the BMI is calculated the same way, but then is reported as a percentile when compared to other boys or girls of the same age on a growth chart. In this case, a child with a BMI normalized for age at the 85th percentile or higher is considered overweight. The BMI is not a perfect metric for determining obesity, however. For example, an athlete with a lot of muscle mass may have a BMI that qualifies as overweight or even obese, but is actually in good physical condition. Sleep stages is a fairly high-yield topic, and the various electroencephalogram or EEG waveforms associated with the stages of sleep just have to be memorized in order to answer questions on this topic. When someone is awake with their eyes open, the EEG waveform observed is a beta waveform, which has the highest frequency and lowest amplitude. When someone is awake, but his or her eyes are closed, the EEG waveform observed is an alpha waveform. In the first stage of sleep, which is the lightest stage and comprises about 5% of total sleep time in young adults, the EEG waveform observed is a theta waveform. Which neurotransmitter is critical for initiating sleep? Serotonin release from the RAFE nuclei. In the second stage of sleep, comprising about 45% of total sleep time in young adults, you see sleep spindles and K-complexes on the EEG waveform. This stage of sleep is when grinding of the teeth and clenching of the jaw occurs, referred to as bruxism. The third and fourth stages of sleep of prior terminology have now been combined into a single stage 3 of non-REM sleep. It comprises about 25% of total sleep time in young adults. Here, you see the delta waveform on the EEG, which has the lowest frequency and highest amplitude. This is the deepest stage of sleep, and this is the sleep stage when episodes of sleepwalking, night terrors, and bedwetting occur. How can sleepwalking, night terrors, and bedwetting be treated? Benzodiazepines are useful for treating night terrors and sleepwalking. Amipramine is used to treat bedwetting or enuresis because it decreases stage 3 sleep. In REM sleep, comprising about 25% of total sleep in young adults, the EEG waveform observed is the beta waveform, which is the same waveform as that during the awake and alert state and has a sawtooth appearance. This is why REM sleep is also known as paradoxical sleep. REM sleep is characterized by dreaming, loss of motor tone, erections, and increases in brain oxygen usage, possibly related to a memory processing function. Also, extraocular movements during REM sleep are due to the activity of the paramedian pontine reticular formation slash conjugate gaze center. It is because of these extraocular movements that this phase of sleep is termed rapid eye movement sleep. Alcohol, benzodiazepines, and barbiturates are associated with reduced REM and delta sleep. As we mentioned earlier, during REM sleep, you see an increased in variable pulse, rapid eye movement, variance in blood pressure, and penile and clitoral erection. Thus, REM sleep is a bit like sex. Like alcohol, benzodiazepines, and barbiturates, norepinephrine also reduces REM sleep. 
REM sleep occurs approximately every 90 minutes, and its duration increases throughout the night. What is the major neurotransmitter implicated in REM sleep? That's right, it's acetylcholine. Patients with depression typically have numerous changes in their sleep stages. Depressed patients tend to have decreased slow-wave sleep, decreased REM latency, increased REM cycles early in sleep, increased total REM duration, repeated nighttime awakenings, and early morning awakening. Of these sleep changes, which is a fairly specific indicator of depression? Early morning awakenings are an important screening question and a fairly specific indicator of depression. Narcolepsy is a condition involving disordered regulation of sleep-wake cycles. Its primary characteristic is excessive daytime sleepiness. Narcoleptics may experience hypnagogic, or just before going to sleep, or hypnopompic, or just before awakening, hallucinations. Also, the patient's nocturnal and narcoleptic sleep episodes start off with REM sleep rather than stage 1 sleep. Cataplexy is defined as loss of all muscle tone following a strong emotional stimulus and can occur in some patients with narcolepsy. Narcolepsy has been shown to have a strong genetic component and can be treated with stimulants like amphetamines, modafinil, and sodium oxabate. It's worth noting that these patients don't actually sleep for a longer period each day than normal people. They simply sleep in an irregular pattern. Their circadian rhythm is driven by the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN, of the hypothalamus, which is regulated by environmental light cues. The SCN releases norepinephrine, which stimulates the pineal gland to release melatonin and induces drowsiness at night. The SCN also regulates the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone and prolactin. Melatonin supplements can be used as a sleeping aid. Sleep terror disorder is defined as periods of terror with screaming in the middle of the night. In which population is sleep terror disorder most common, and in which stage of sleep does it occur? It is most common in children, and occurs during slow-wave stage 3 non-REM sleep. The cause is unknown, but triggers may include emotional stress during the previous day, fever, or a lack of sleep. Usually, the patients have no memory of the episode, and night terrors usually resolve on their own with time.